Hey guys, so I have been like working basically for hours on end and I'm having a nice break because <laughs> remote working is lovely but you have to remember to take breaks because when your home is your work environment, everything like that, everything gets blended into one and yeah, sometimes like you can just end up being on the computer for hours and hours on end. So yeah, it's been quite like a fun packed day, morning sort of thing. Like I try to get my content stuff in and I try to um, uh, also like in between like on my breaks and stuff like that and as well as obviously doing my actual um, remote work. So um, yeah, but as I often get quite a few questions about remote work and things like that, I thought it would probably be good to just speak on like some of the tips and advice that um, I think will help other people when thinking about remote working, relocating and that kind of thing. Um, if you have watched some of my previous vlogs, I have spoken about you know my um, qualifications as a career coach and the fact that also I have a channel called The Career Coach which I want to work on some content relating to careers and um, expanding on different elements of that because it's quite a, a, a broad topic but I thought because obviously on this channel I am sharing my relocation to Ghana from London I, I think it still you know comes into the topic of moving, living abroad, how to make income and stuff like that so um, yeah, I just thought I would share some kind of like tips and advice on things to consider probably to make remote working smooth or the fact that some people don't even consider remote working when relocating. Um, I think the pandemic has really helped us so much with the flexibility of working from home and what that looks like and stuff like that. But before I get into all of that, I wanted to just show you guys like I got this um, like mag magnetic monthly planner um, from Amazon, which um, I use to like schedule all my content and stuff like that. So it's the new month now, it's February, the month of love. Valentine's Day is coming up soon. This helps me stay on schedule because a part of remote working and working in general is scheduling your time, time management, all of that good stuff. So I got this and it came with different like whiteboard pens with little rubbers at the end and then it also came with um, a big kind of whiteboard eraser thing and then it had like also these magnetic strips in it uh, I think they're in my drawer but if you want to stick it on your fridge or anything like that so yeah I'll link this in the description but it's very useful even just for like you know like for the family and stuff say this person's got to go to like after school club and whatever, whatever. I think like you can probably like put your appointments and all of that stuff on there. So I find that very useful, helps me stay on track because when you're working and then doing your own thing as well, it can just get a little bit, you know, and um, I've been doing a lot of training lately. I've been just doing a lot of stuff on my brain and especially with like editing and stuff like that. It takes a lot to after one job, take a break, go and cook some dinner and then pick yourself back up and start work again because this is a job in itself as well so yeah make sure you manage your time well because that helps us be more consistent and that helps us be more effective in our day-to-day -day, you know tasks and stuff like that so guys i thought it would be great to talk about like remote work because i do get asked a lot of questions about what do I do to make money living in Ghana and stuff like that and like remote work is is the way forward basically so um well for me anyway I'm an advocate for remote work <laughs> but um I did a poll on my YouTube and basically I was asking what are some of your concerns when thinking about relocating and the top answer was um finances and I think the second one was like looking for work so I thought you know what as part of um, you know the process it's about sharing information sharing tips and advice on like what basically we've done to make our move as smooth as possible it doesn't mean this is going to work for everybody but it's just there as like a kind of guide 
and you pick from it what you want to or what you don't want to sort of thing. Definitely remote work for me has been you know, helping me survive in these Ghana streets because Accra, for those of you that have been here, like many places in the world, but it's not cheap. So to live a, for me, a diaspora life because I'm used to Western way of living in terms of like the restaurants I like to go to and those kind of things, your girl needs that bread, I need that coin, I need, I need, I need that money. So <laughs> remote work was just the way forward. And um, personally for me, I wanted to still be able to make my pounds. So yeah, there's quite a few kind of things that you need to think about when remote working. I wanted to actually talk about probably one of the things that have enabled me to work safely, effectively, and not even just like in terms of work, even just like for things for leisure. Um, it has been using ExpressVPN. So ExpressVPN is, has been like such a godsend for me personally, and um, just for the household in general and how we maneuver, how we work and stuff like that. So for those of you that are not familiar with ExpressVPN, I wanna show you guys what it is how to use it and basically also to help you get some freeness so that you can try it out and let me know how you get on. But if you're like someone that may have heard the term VPN before, then this is not new to you. But if you aren't familiar with what a VPN is, then like a VPN is basically something that you connect to to help secure your network. So if you are someone that goes into airports, cafes to work or to log on to the internet, stuff like that, you are log logging onto an open network, which means basically anybody could tap in to that network and potentially access your data. It's not encrypted and it's not secure. It's an open network. Hence why even sometimes on your phone or your devices, it will tell you that are you using a public network like public wi-fi because obviously when you're logging into banking and stuff like that it could mean that you're enabling potentially hackers to your data your devices and so forth like that so and i have watched things where even walking through like a train station there are people with kind of devices that can literally jump onto your phone because your network is not secured so vpn express vpn is a great way to secure your network and that could be like your phone, your computer, your TV, your tablet, like all your devices basically. This VPN have been kind enough for me to share with you guys a special link that enables you to get three months free. Um, and I'm gonna go through all of that. So everything will be linked in the description. And I want you guys to go and click on that link and get yourself secure, safe, ready to remote work, to stream, to watch your Netflix, to watch your Disney, whatever it is. Even for me, having um, VPN has enabled me to watch BBC iPlayer, so I'm still, I'm able to watch The Apprentice. For those of you that are from the UK and you watch like, The Apprentice and stuff like that. So it's been really helpful. And when I'm trying to look for things as well, because we ship things in often, um, I like to still look at the UK websites like Ikea and stuff like that. So having the VPN, it automatically takes me to the UK sites, whereas in previously when I didn't have it, it was always bringing up like things in dollars and like Ghana based websites and stuff like that as like the first options because obviously it's picking up my IP address. So that's the great thing about VPN. You can also, you know, link it to a different country. So you might uh, want to access like the American network so your IP address shows that you're in America and so forth and stuff like that. So that, that can be very helpful as well. Why is ExpressVPN basically the best for me and for you guys? I'm advising you because it's got the fastest speeds. Um, ExpressVPN invests only in premium servers because one thing when you, if you're a bit technical, I've had websites in the past where you can link your website to a server because having a server in your house is not practical for most of us. Servers, because the amount of people that are using them, some servers can be so slow. I've literally had a website where I sell products and because the server I was using was so slow, my website was always laggy, it was a problem, people shopping and stuff like that. With ExpressVPN, when I'm going on YouTube, Netflix, 
Google, anything really. The streaming is amazing, it's so fast, so that's great. It has 24 seven customer support, which is great as well. Live chats, which obviously for me, being in Ghana, I can't always just call a number now because obviously I have an international number and it costs more. So the fact that they have live chats, for me, I, I always like when there's a live chat because it's just, you know, we're in a digital age now and things are fast. So the fact that I can get help, like quickly is great and any time of the day which is great for someone that is in different time zones and stuff like that because you know depending on where a company is based you may have to wait for a set time to, to speak to anybody but with ExpressVPN they have 24 7 customer support. I'm also going to show you guys how I use it on a router because I've recently purchased a router um, so look out for that information in a vlog which I'll be able to show you guys an unboxing of it and everything like that. So the router is really good as well. For me, um, upgrading to the router has so many more benefits personally. I find it just a lot more easier to just like connect the devices in the house. Um, so yeah, I will show you guys that a bit later. But in terms of um, remote working, I wanted to obviously give you guys some tips and advice on things that you need to consider when actually applying for jobs or if you are already working for a company maybe you want to have a conversation with them because you're thinking of relocating so in terms of like if you are already with a company it's a matter of having a conversation whether that's with your manager or HR so what you need to do is find out if legally you can work outside of the territory of uh, wherever your company is based so for example I previously worked for a UK company they didn't have any entities or any um, kind of like offices based in Ghana and stuff like that so when I spoke to them about working remotely it was like an NO from them um, and I understand um, they have to obviously you know a big company they have to think about those kind of things like the implications if it's found that workers are working abroad and that's not the way their company has been set up and so they've not made those provisions for, for people to work worldwide which is fine so I had to obviously then look for a company that was more open to that and understood that like I wasn't going to be living in the UK and yes I may be back and forth but I'm predominantly outside of the UK so you really number one need to consider if the company legally can allow you to work worldwide do you need any permits or visas wherever you're going to re relocate for because you are working um, in another country so at the same time yes the company might not be based in that country or could be based in that country you may require permits so you definitely need to look into that like working visas and so forth also you need to think about the security of your device that you're working from so as i mentioned expressvpn is great for all of that kind of stuff securing your network because if you are working with customers data quite you know high strictly privileged information you need to make sure that your network is secure and nobody can hackers cannot hack into your laptop or your computer or your phone or whatever like that wherever you're storing this kind of information or you're working from so having security even things like antivirus software as well and stuff like that to protect your laptop from malware and any kind of like you know going onto the wrong website and stuff starting to attack your system and stuff like that because obviously it can slow down and and make your devices not work properly some companies um do say they're open to you working worldwide but what it means is they might have like core hours within your working day that you need to be available so an example of this is if you're maybe your head office is based in america but where you're staying is like, for instance, Ghana is at the, currently is on GMT time, the same time as London, um, until the British summertime changes, then we'll be an hour behind, I believe. Um, at the same time, they may say to me, you know, some parts of America, like you could be five hours behind. They might say, I need, we need you to be online between like midday of my time to like maybe six o'clock because it might be like the core working hours of the office the main office and you might need to go into meetings and things like that speak with your teammates so just know that wherever you whatever job that you choose check the time zone does that work for you because if i have to work 12 to 8 in my time zone because the country um the company i'm working for is five hours behind that's quite um a big chunk of my day so um 
working Monday to Friday, it might mean I don't have the flexibility of enjoying my evenings the way I want to because even in Ghana it gets dark around 6 o'clock. Um, sometimes maybe trying to go and do certain things might not be feasible so forth and stuff like that. So you've got to consider all of that, like what's your lifestyle like in the evenings? Do you need to like have time with your family, your partner, even just for yourself? Do you have things to do? Because like in Ghana, for example, some places are not open on the weekend. So if I finish at eight o'clock at night, it limits me. Yes, I can take time off, but do you want to use your holiday just to go and do like minuscule tasks or things? So those are the kind of things to think about. Um, hence why you need to obviously ensure that the company is aware of your time zone and where you're working from. So there's also that consideration and flexibility so that from the beginning, you can speak about these things and make sure that the, the job you know suits you it's, it enables you to still do what you need to do because as much as we need to work to make money um you can't come and kill yourself at the same time like you need to be able to still you know go and do your shopping and do your things like that and stuff like that not everyone has help house help and things like that do you know what i mean so you need to be able to have that flexibility to do your thing so those are the kind of like the main things I would say that you need to think about. Um, there are a lot of remote jobs out there, especially in the tech world. If you are into tech, I feel like even before the pandemic, the tech industry was always forward thinking um, and a lot of jobs were remote. When I think of like when I was in uni and stuff like that and I would meet people that are in the tech industry, they like working a few days in the office and some days at home was like the norm, even from back then. So some organizations and some industries have already been into remote working for a long time um, but I guess for the other industries that probably deem themselves a very office based very you know you have to come in work these set hours and all that kind of stuff the pandemic forced their hand um, and I guess now they've seen that people can still do their job effectively from home um, that's why they I guess they're open and flexible to that kind of like phasing people back into the office but obviously giving them the option to still work from home if they choose to and stuff like that but it really depends on how you are for me I just find remote work it enables me to still do the things I enjoy doing I don't thrive in an office space I'm really not someone that's really bothered about like the company or teammates and stuff like that I'm a bit of a lone ranger I guess because I like creating content and editing and stuff like that I'm very creative in that sense I think um, a lot of the things I do are very solo based um, so it doesn't really matter to me obviously um, it's good to connect with other people because naturally doing things can get lonely so don't get me wrong having a tribe of people that are doing similar things is important you need to feed off of that but if you're someone that you do thrive off of like you know going for lunch with your colleagues and stuff like that then maybe remote working is not for you but for those of us that you know want to spend more time at home want to spend more time with the family and stuff like that be able to still do errands on certain things um maybe remote working might be something to consider obviously you could also consider just doing part-time remote work um, and there's so many industries like there's so many industries out there um like i said if you guys want to know more about like what kind of jobs to look for what companies are hiring and all of that kind of stuff like let me know in the comments and i will definitely um look at those type of to uh, topics so that i can bring you guys more stuff for my career coach channel um because i feel like that's very specific to careers and i don't really want to mix the two on this channel but yeah guys i just definitely think those are probably the basic things to think about because obviously moving is expensive um you know it comes with a lot of hidden costs as well um, and i will talk about that as well like financing like budgeting and all of that kind of stuff so do look out for more of those videos because i feel like a processing us relocating was definitely having to look at our finances and hence why for me the option to not work wasn't there because as much as we'd saved it wasn't about just saying okay live off of savings and be airy fairy like in this life you need money um, and I don't feel like um, it's a bad thing to work entrepreneurship is amazing um, but it's not easy um, I've tried projects in the past and it's not a joke to be your own boss and to cultivate your own income stream it's not easy you, there's no clocking off and oh let me just take time off like I feel like you work a lot harder when you work for yourself versus when I finished my remote job I closed the laptop and I'm like yeah right let me go and 
watch some Netflix, let me go and chill out, let me, do you know what I mean, go and edit and do my thing, whereas in the official business, um, it's a lot, like, there's, like, like, there's no chill to it, <laughs> basically. Even with editing, I've been up at, like, two in the morning to make sure that the video goes out the next day and stuff like that, so it's, like, it's, there's no real, like, you can set that, obviously, but I think when you're doing your own thing, it's just so, like, as and when, which is amazing as well, because the fact is, I can jump up at one in the morning and just decide to edit a video or do something or whatever, do you know what I mean? So there's that flexibility in that. Um, so yeah, guys, so let me know in the comments below what more information you want to know about careers. Like I said, I'll link my other channel in the description box as well, so you can go and hit that subscribe button and I'm going to be uploading some videos there, so look out for that. Yeah make sure you go and check out my link for ExpressVPN. So guys, thanks for watching this video. You girls gotta get back to some work because my day is not fully over yet. And I'll catch you in my next one.